This video is about Visio containers, a new and useful feature that appears in Visio 2010 for the first time. So to start out with, uh, containers are shown on the insert tab and there's an item here called container and uh, there's a variety of uh, styles that are available. Uh, most of what differentiates them is where the title block is. I uh, basically insert it by just clicking on it here, you know, drag it out of there. Uh, so this is a container. Uh, it can be resized, whatever size you want. Now what containers do is they hold items within them and uh, group them together. So we're going to uh, add some stuff here from uh, stencils, uh, shape menu, and we'll pick out some network uh, shapes here. Uh, and so we're going to drag a switch in here and another one. This can be a room or a closet, something like that. Uh, put a server in here. Maybe copy that server. Pull down the control key. And then we'll stick a router here as well. Now you'll notice that as we put these things uh, in here, the outside of the uh, object uh, is highlighted. You see there's a, a yellow line that shows up around it. When that lights, it indicates that you've got it inside the uh, container. So it would be possible to uh, say bring something in there and have it uh, actually attached to the side as opposed to being inside the container. You see just one side was lit up. Um, however, this puts it right inside it. So uh, now once uh, you place these objects inside the container, you can uh, select the container by clicking on the outside edge of it, move it and everything moves right along with it. Uh, you can move it over like this, hold down the control key, and copy everything that's in there. Uh, there's a heading on uh, most of these and so if you select the object and just start typing um, you put in uh, exactly you know what you want go to the other one uh, as soon as you select it by clicking on the outside part of it um, you can just start typing and uh, title these in that way. Uh, it's possible to uh, actually have uh, nesting uh, containers. So we can make this one larger. And we can actually bring this one inside. You see the way the outside of the larger one lights up. And now we actually have a container within a container. So if we select the uh, outer one, it'll move everything right along with it. Uh, a nice feature of this, I mean, it was possible to do this by, by grouping the objects or putting them on some sort of a background layer uh, in previous versions of Visio. Uh, but the problem there was that it, you had to lock it in order to uh, not be selecting it all the time, whereas these uh, containers uh, don't get selected unless you click the outside edge of it. So uh, they behave pretty well. Um, by themselves, it's a, a way to organize uh, a drawing, group things together, so it adds a certain measure of convenience. However, there are some uh, more ways to uh, customize the containers in a way to uh, increase the value. We'll cover that in uh, some additional videos. Now, there are a few other features um, that are available. Uh, one thing is, is that as you're working on uh, using your container, let's say the container has got a particular size, it's possible to uh, right click on the edge and uh, get a container item where there's a few commands that are available. Uh, one, you can lock the containers so that things can't, that can't be moved or added to. But also, um, probably one more useful one is a fit to contents. So if you click this, you can see how the container resizes just to fit everything neatly uh, within it. Um, up at the top of the screen, uh, there's a 
tab, special tab uh, that appears for uh, working with the container when the container is selected. When we click on that, we see some other items. There's the uh, container styles that can be changed. Uh, it's possible to change the heading style one, uh, as to where the heading is located. Um, and one thing is also there's an option there for uh, no heading at all. And that would be useful in uh, some other applications uh, that do with this. Uh, also, uh, notably here, uh, you can adjust the way uh, automatic resizing is done. Right now it's set to expand as needed as you add things to it. Uh, but it's possible to have it that it automatically adjusts to uh, fit the contents. Uh, we just did a fit to contents. And then it's possible to set the uh, margins. Uh, you can see as we go through, it shows you what it looks like. And it's how large the uh, container will be beyond the, the objects that are in it. So that can change the appearance of your drawing. So those are uh, the tools and, uh, that are available to work with containers. Um, looks to be a uh, pretty useful addition uh, to Visio 2010.